And now it's time for some sleepers. Aaron, don't get mad at me, but everybody has a kryptonite, right? Mine's, you know, sweet tarts and Sour Patch Kids. Yours is the heat. All right, we love value, so let's get you some options. Damian Pierce. A lot of people loved him. He was the preseason darling, the training camp darling, and then people are freaking out about it. But I like him this week. I do. He's ranked outside the top 25 at running back on Fantasy Pros. 15 carries and a catch last week. 76 total yards. Broncos defense is tough. I think the best is on the way. He's got the Bears. The Bears have allowed over five yards per carry and most rushing yards in the NFL so far this season. Jacoby Myers, as we move it along here. He's outside the top 40 on Fantasy Pros. How many targets does he have in two weeks? 19. That kind of volume, get him in your lineup. He's coming off nine catches for 95 yards against the Steelers last week. Now, he did not practice. I like Nelson Aguilar, too. I already told you to get these guys in your lineup. They're taking shots up with New England. And that Ravens secondary is banged up. They got torched by the Dolphins. They've allowed him the most points to opposing wide receivers so far in this early year. Russell Gage, another guy. Uh, you up? Yeah, he's up and you got to get him in your lineup. Mike Evans suspended. Godwin and Julio yet to practice. Russell Gage might be the number one option this week. Uh, Brady is going to look his way often. Uh, Scotty Miller, of course, too, all those guys. But even though the Packers secondary is solid, their ranking on the year is a bit skewed after facing the, Pack the Bears last week. So uh, I think Gage is going to have some opportunities to pick up some points here. Hayden Hurst. Why do I love Hayden Hurst? I talk about him all of, well, he's clutch, third down conversions. I think he does a lot of things they were missing last year. No, you know, I like CJ Uzama a lot, but he's not a starting tight end if you look at Fantasy Pros. And if you opted to stream tight ends this year, which I always do, Hurst is a great option. He's got the Jets defense. He's seeing over seven targets a game. It's an incredible volume if you are streaming tight ends or if you're playing daily fantasy over at FanDuel. Last but not least, you want a quarterback, Conrad? Well, you can't draft Andrew Luck, even though you're obsessed with him. How about Carson Wentz up against Philadelphia? Ooh, little revenge game situation. Lane Johnson talked about it. it's all love between Philly and Carson Wentz, he said, but he's thrown for 300-plus yards, finishing inside the top five in fantasy scoring in both games played this season. That's great. He's tied for the league lead with seven touchdown passes. That's unbelievable. In two weeks. Nobody had that on the bingo card. It's true. Nobody had that. Uh, and he's got this rematch, and he's ranked just 14th on Fantasy Pros. So here's my thing. If you lost Dak Prescott, if you lost Trey Lance, ride the hot hand until he gives you a reason not to. You got a running back, a wide receiver, two wide receivers because I love you so much. A tight end who I really like because I like those Bengals and I like keeping them in my positive thoughts. And Carson Wentz is the perfect streamer for your fantasy needs. All right.